Remember, folks, you are the ones paying for the internet, not me. So if you've picked a video you didn't like and you found it to be deplorable, that's on you. Oh, by the way, we're skipping the whole entire post sister hunt because even though I do like the Forest Temple, not my personal favorite, personally, I really enjoy the Sand Temple and the Fire Temples the most. Yeah, this was the part I disliked. God, I had to hunt down those things. Even with the strategy guy was taking so dang long. Chapter 8 Once they got there, Jupiter realized it was locked too. There was no way the small keys could open it up. But then she noted that the shape of the bed, bed, bead, bed, bed padlock was the same as the golden key they got from the oriented chest. Isn't that thing called the boss key anyway? Link held it out. Well, Jupiter, this is it, said Link. Once we open this door, there's no way back out. It'll be all or nothing. Ellipses, us, ellipses, against him. Jupiter's legs felt like they were going to give away. They were going up against Phantom Ganon, the most powerful, dangerous creature in the temple. Well, yeah, if you don't know what you're doing. You okay? Link asked. I don't know, ellipses, Jupiter answered. But I did come all this way just to turn back at the last few feet. She put her hand on his. Let's do it. She said bravely. Link nodded and they guided each other's hands. He was skipping across the floor, holding up the key to a lock. Open! Link shouted and he went in. Again, does anybody else find it funny in their heads that there's probably Mike in every time he plays... Let's say Zelda, he goes to a gate, he said, yells out open at the top of his lungs or something. I find that hilarious. Ellipses. The boss chamber sure was darker than all the other rooms, but not too dark, but still pretty scary. People, if you were ever scared by any of the bosses on Legend of Zelda, please write it down in the comments. No, no, I promise I won't make fun of you. At all. Nope. Trixie, on the other hand, Trixie makes no promises. He climbed up the steps onto a giant platform ring surrounded by a razor wire. Six identical paintings were placed on the walls. Where is he? asked Jupiter. Link called out, All right, Phantom Ganon, ellipses, come on out. We found you. Yes. Suddenly, so, the edge of spring to the Wing was sailed off by giant spiel spikes. They were trapped in the ring. Suddenly, they felt another presence right behind them. <laughs> that evil voice could only belong to one creature. Yes, Elpsies, you found me, but you'll soon be wishing you hadn't. Link and sail uh, Jupiter turned around, and there he was sitting high up in the saddle of a black armored steed. Whoa! Here on time! Sail on Jupiter! Ellipses, I better to meet your two! He sniggered. I put an S there! I put an S! Evil spirit from beyond! Phantom Ganon! Phantom Ganon charged forward on a steed, and in a flash of Bowed onto the top of the painting as it were part of himself. <laughs> I should have been speaking like Scooby Doo this entire time. Jupiter and Link pulled out their bows. Well, there's no turning back now, said Jupiter. Let's get him. Link nodded and told her that he had to first dismount him from that horse. Look, here he comes. He began flying out to one of the paintings. Get him! He fired her arrows widely as he approached. All he seemed to do was turn around and head back the other way. Huh? Suddenly, they both got hit from behind by a big blast of energy. It took it full force. Rahaha! <laughs> Real soon, kids! Phantom chuckled as he advanced to another painting. <laughs> Jupiter got back to her feet. What just happened here? She asked. Link also got backed up. Here he comes again. Get ready! They saw him coming at them and fired wildly. But the same thing happened again. He turned around, didn't get hurt, and got hit from behind by him. 
over and over, they, but they attacked and they ended up attacking him from behind. <laughs> oh, you British. Stop! I cried Jupiter. What are we doing wrong? Not following the strategy guy, it seems. Not following the obvious hints. Obviously, you're playing Game Ground style. And, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Wham! <sighs> Trying to remember a good Wham song. Anyway, he got hit again. A few more shots in the right place, and he would have had it. Link looked up, but what he saw confused him. There were two phantoms. One was still centering through a painting beside the one where a second one disappeared into the distance. And he suddenly remembered that Fan Gan himself was actually a ghostly creature, which means he had a way to calm himself. The fake one used to distract it while the real one attacks from behind. One of two Gans was coming for him again. Jupiter, wait, Ellipses, said Link. I'm my sister, Ellipses. Turn around, bright eyes. Jupiter was confused. Turn around, bright eyes. The master, he's coming for it, Dashes. Just do it! Link bellowed. Jupiter raised her bow, and so did Link. Right, Rex. Right. Now, before it reached the ends of the painting. Now! cried Link. They both whipped around like lightning and fired wildly at the second phantom, which, in fact, was the real one. Slipsies, and he did get damaged. Right. No racing that you haven't done that so rude. Turn on his horse and rouse back to the next direction. Jupiter and Link knew of his little trick. Now we're able to tip the fight into real life. They had three foolproof way ways to find a real one from the fake. One. One of two nemesis would turn around before he raced the edge of the painting. Jupiter fired again and got the real one again. Two. Real Phantom appeared to be more prior to eliminate the false one. Link shot him again. All right, I've got one more shot again. Link said, "Get ready." Three. There were two Phantoms, but one was real and could fight back. Link and Jupiter looked at the two, ensuring that they wouldn't miss him. Four. Nothing wrong with me. One. Nothing wrong with me. Two. Go up again. Oh, sorry. He shot him at again. This time, he fell off his horse was forced to switch to a battle strategy. Imitating himself in midair to clasp his staff. Wrong, kids! He said, You were really sneaking and restoring my aid, but why do you think that you can really reap me? <laughs> Link drew out his sword. Jupiter pulled out a fine whip. We will destroy you, Phantom, again. He snapped Link. I beat you once before. With Jupiter by my side, I will beat you once again. I mean, shoot, you didn't even change your strategies. You didn't even try upgrading your knowledge. Hell, you didn't even try upgrading the temple. That's right, said Jupiter. You and your forest creatures have all stolen your last bit of energy. You'll pay for your servings of evil. Would you rather have a serving of pie? Benta's evil smile awaited. Roar, we the roll. We own my river. Roar. He rolled his staff over his head, fired a ball of energy. Let's move, cried Link, and he rolled out of the way. He moved straight to engaging him in a sword, fighting last staff combat. But each blow either resulted in a parry or a painful blow from Phantom Staff. Rawr, rawr, rocks, he snickered, and smashed the back both backwards. Link and Jupiter, weak but not being, got to their feet. We're not giving up yet. Jupiter, ellipses, I call upon your mighty power, ellipses. Great bolts of lightning crossing down from the sky. Jupiter, thunder, crash! All that lightning flew straight out. The man again whirled his staff like a pinwheel. Shielding him from his power, it sent him back into duo. Crash! They were barely able to dodge that one. Damn! cried Jupiter. We're hitting him with everything we've got, ellipses. But it's still not working. <laughs> ellipses. We're right, kids. Now, rake this! Fire another ball of energy straight air. Jupiter, get out of there! called Link. But Jupiter was boxed. Into an ankle, Amazon box, and then shift off to Abu Dhabi. Into the corners of the ring. One ring, that is. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Mutant's hate has now begun. Hang on! Link leapt heroically into the path of the ball and struck him with a sword. Horny love! 
Resiliency, the ball flew straight back in the other direction, right back to fan again. The ball struck a full force and fell down temporarily stunned. Did you see that? Lias linked. Yeah, ellipses. That's it, cried Jupiter. We may have used everything we've got, but ellipses. Now everything he's got. Right, ellipses. Right, cried Lake. Now, this is what we do, ellipses. Attack him while he's stunned repeatedly. Fandigan pulled himself together. Ooh, ellipses. Right, breathe the hero again, hey? He growled. Well, let's see if you can hear or you ain't out of this. That didn't even begin to make sense. You fail. Instead of dodging it, Link just stood where he was, wearing that cute little outfit of his, and deflected the magic back to Fan with his sword. Ray, Lucy's. What? No way, Das. Rawr! He got hit by his own blast again and feel stunned to the floor. I feel something too, but it ain't stunned. Get him, Jupiter! called Link. Jupiter hopped over to Fan again, giving a good weapon. I want to make a BDSM choke, but I just don't have it in me. She was able to lash him four times before back to the air. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, I have another. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, I have another. Thrill. Think you can rip me with those thrilly fights of yours? He said angrily. Right now, called Jupiter. I am right. I am annihilate. Again. Now, rake this. I had another shot. Jupiter deflected it back to him. This time, Link went in a and they hit him at least eight more times. Now, Van was not like to do it was getting weak. The far from finish. The battle was coming down to the final blow. But well, who's going to make it? And who's going to get it? Me! <laughs> Van Gan was puffing and panting. But he was still determined to win this battle. <laughs> 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 Okay, that's a Gia's time. <laughs> huh? What's that skull face laughing about? That said Jupiter. I rest that way. Let's see. Racing to tell you where. It's been an outright answer. Phantom replied. I won't get. Think I'll ever have another battle like this again. Let's see. What's the same? Neither Jupiter nor Link knew what he was talking about. Phantom whirled his staff over his head faster and faster until it began to spark. Sparkled like a flying firework. We rare for my worst and rare for my attack! Man roared. Ripper! Glossy! Wrath! Charger! Oopsies. My good. Can we talk? When coming up with attack names, surely you could have done better! Surely you could do better than this. Charger? Charger? Really? How about Halo Staff or Ghostly Wave or something? Come on! Make an attack name needs to be memorable. This is another reason I have problems with the attack names on Fault on Starfleet. They're just so bland and uninteresting. I mean, Starlight Arrow. How about Starshot or something? It's gotta sound like something cool, like somebody wants to yell them out. He began charging out like a speeding comet. It didn't matter if they dodged or not. The impact was enough to shock anything. Even Link's shield couldn't defend him. Jupiter and Link still stayed still on the floor. Ha 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 ha! I win it! Chuckled Fan again. I run! Ha 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 ha! The day's story saw the duo move, struggled back to her feet. You, Ellipses, haven't won yet, Ellipses. Fan again, growled Link. We took the time to actually follow the Legend Breaker's advice and actually stopped up on fairies before coming here. Jupiter stretched out slowly, got up. I never lost the evil Spain once, and I'm not starting now. The D D girls would like to have a few words with you. If Fam had any realized, you could bet your boots that he whined so much he would fall out. But I don't wear boots. Row! Row can this re! cried. Rory has taken a hit from my rough charger and continued to write. 
Jupiter and Link pulled themselves out of it. Hmm. I guess I underestimated you, he said. I guess there was only one best way down to decide who's better than who. And to get to flex class back in time, you must tell it again. And again, a game of chance. Or last night it just been a term of fate, all or nothing. Or tennis. But hurry! Good grounds. Good thing I was a pro at tennis camp, said Jupiter. They took their places at the farthest ends of the battle ring, and Fan were ready to serve. And there we go! Or as he summoned up Lazo's power into a much larger ball of air as he fired. Back, and forth, ellipses, back, ellipses, forth, ellipses. Over and over again, the duo and Fan Gan continued to fight the air as he balled back to the other side. Each hit more forceful than the last. But this only made the ball go faster and faster, hitting it becoming more difficult. But neither side was showing much of a sign of getting up. Thank you for coming out to Wild Wimbledon. A few minutes later, they were all ready to cave in. Ganon was puffing and panting in midair. Jupiter was beginning to feel her fine weapon get rather heavy. Lake could barely keep his balance while holding his shield and sword. Come on, guys, this was not that hard. You just need to keep pressing B over and over and over again. It's not that hard, people. Now, Tennis match with Rhaegar Gandorf? That was a trick. Ellipses, can't, ellipses, keep, just ellipses, up, ellipses, much longer. He panted after returning another shot. You guys are still playing the drinking game after this? You're probably drunk by now. Fan Gan repelled it. We can, ellipses, do it, panted Jupiter. We've got to. So he summoned up a little streak she had left and gave the ball a real good last round whipped. Rear! Ellipses, rawr! Ellipses, doomed! Ellipses. Poor Phantom Gan. He raised his staff to meet and repel the blast, but really couldn't find the strength he needed to bring it back down. Bam! Bam! He got hit. And this time, he dropped his staff to vaporize. Bro! This wreck can't be happening! Link and Jupiter smiled at each other. Even though neither of them had the power to finish them off alone, Ellipses, that wasn't their plan. They approached the fallen ghost. Rally, he groaned. Rally, how you get this to me? Because we share something that evil creeps like you would never understand, said Jupiter. The power of teamwork. God, I forgot. We're back in the dub. Link died. Thanks to Jupiter's quick thinking and my skills, Lucy's, we found our way through this fourth temple. You, Phantom Ganon, are through. Roar! Link held his sword up high, ready as it glowed, while Jupiter pounded out the remains of its thunder. Jupiter! Ellipses! Thunder! Ellipses! Secret! Ellipses! Master Sword! Ellipses! Crass Attack! You know, you could call it a combination name, and it's not that hard. Jupiter's powered up the blade to the Master Sword, like Sailor Moon could buy her Moon Tiara with the other Sailor's attacks. Yes, it's called a combination move. We all know it exists. The sword glowed while emitting bolts and curves of thunder as Link charged forward. Rah! Looked up and came slicing down. Slash. A huge white flash, followed by a soft explosion, escaped from Ganon's body, where he'd been struck. Can I just say, that was one of the coolest moments I had on Skyward Sword. It was when I was fighting Demise, and then suddenly, I... Leapt up. I was totally not expecting to leap up, twirl, and then do the finisher, finisher by diving down when a lightning bolt struck down. It was so awesome. Not my best memory playing a Legend of Zelda game. Actually, my favorite memory was playing Twilight Princess on the Wii, battling Ganondorf, and outside, a thunderstorm was occurring at my area. Body began burning up in a field of blue fire, then swelling upside down over the ring where a purple vortex appeared. You have failed me for the last time, Phantom Cannon! growled the voice of the real Gandorf. I hereby banish you to the gap between dimensions forever be gone! Link and Jupiter watched in horror as the Ganfan whimpered in pain as the remains of his body were being sucked to the vortex, Lopsies, and he was gone for good. Why are you guys looking up in horror? You're the ones who killed him. I ask you 
Two ellipses. Replied replied with Leo. Be a one! Ellipses, you made it as fine by phantom. He was always the weakest of my minions. This time he tied me your face to real me! Ellipses, if that happens, it won't be quite so easy! <laughs> His voice faded out in the vortex of fairness. Meanwhile, on the outside. Ray couldn't sit still another second longer. This, of course, broke the firewall into ground the monsters. Not to mention everyone else couldn't fight more. They used up far too much of their powers. Most of them changed back to their normal street clothes. It's no good, cried Serena. We're history! For once, everyone seemed to agree with her. All the monsters now totaled well over 50. Just... That's 50? That, 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 that's, that, that's 50? Woo! Move closer and closer, Ozzy's. He stopped there in their tracks. Huh? Hey, why did he stop? Asked Mia. They monsters began whimpering in pain as they all disintegrated into piles of ashes. This, of course, means only one thing. Beta, comma, the Master Darien have cleared the forest temple, said Darien. They did it. All right. Everyone cheered. Meanwhile, back at the temple, as soon as the battle was over, Leah and Jupiter were somehow transformed into the mall, main hallway of the temple. There in the tube of green light sat a small young girl wearing green. Even her hair was green and stood. Who's that? asked Jupiter. But he couldn't believe, believe his eyes. Saria? Ellipses, is that really you? He cried. His childhood friend smiled and nodded. Yes, Link. Ellipses, you are being warned, and I'm not really here. I'm only speaking to you through the spirits of forest, and only here amongst the wind. I could not hug or touch you. Oh, sorry, I cried Link. Jupiter could tell that this was deep. And sorry, cast a look upon her. Sailor Jupiter, come before me, she said. Jupiter approached the spirit cautiously. Jupiter, ever since I knew I was destined to become the forest saints of the temple, I knew I could never stay in the same world as Link. Oh, you know, Mikey, replacing the names of the characters with your speech with the speech for the game does not a good story make. Link turned away shyly. Zoe said that Saria had secret feelings for Link. <gasps> it took her out of time. Every girl you've met has a feeling for Link. Except for maybe Impa. No, no. According to some fanfics, Impa, yes. Queen of the Grudos, yes. Saria. Uto. Minda. She wasn't an orca around the time. I know, I just love Minda. Malon. Zelda. Everybody. But because they were two completely different species, it was so simple it was not meant to be. Tell that to Ruto! And tell that to th this guy who likes reading Ruto fanfics. Sarah, Saria was a Kokiri. That meant she could never leave the forest or grow up into an adult like Link, who was really a Helion. Just because Link was different from all the other Kokiri, Saria always stood by Link's side and was truly his best friend in life. We get it! You also ship Link and Saria! Shut up! She cast a look at Link. I'll always be your friend, Link, no matter what happens. She said, Link cast a sad and soft smile as her sign of thanks. Before she left, she had a very special gift to Jupiter. She raised her arms high up and down came another medallion. The green one with the fourth symbol on it. But this medallion, it was seized. I hereby dub you Sailor Jupiter as the new saint of forest. Keep my spirit with you and continue to aid Link in his quest. The forest medallion magically floated up to Jupiter's chest. They had right inside of her, sorry, and fast. Link looked at the small stone case. An image of the Forge Medallion was now resting inside his light, beside his light medallion. Well, wow, Ozzy's, I'm a sage now, said Jupiter. This is amazing. Link smiled at her. I couldn't have done this without you, Jupiter. Bullshit! Let's get out of here. He turned around to leave, but mysteriously, a stranger wearing dark clothes, red eyes, and a muffler over his face was there. Um, Blit. 
This is Sheik. We all know who Sheik is. Yes. Should I do my male voice? Should I give him a male voice or should I do a female voice? Well, we can at least try having you know, Sheik sound like a woman trying to imitate a man. Right. Well done, Hero of Time. Well done, Jupiter. He said. Wait, wait a minute. What, Dinobot? You're spoiling the secret that Sheik is actually Zelda. Don't you feel a little bad about that? Dino. Zelda transforming to Sheik has been a mainstay of Super Smash Bros. since... Melee. It has been in a ton of fan art by now. The manga shows it off. Every piece of merch will show off that will show that Sheik has a very, very feminine body. If you look at some of the official statues of Sheik, you'll see that they did not give him a male body. They don't give him a male body anymore. Joe Shinji will show off. His female body. It is very obvious that this is Zelda. I don't think it's a secret anymore. As a matter of fact, since this happened to Link before, and Link knows about Sheik equals Zelda, I don't think Link would be too surprised or being too confused that this is Zelda. Jupiter and Link ready to draw their weapons when the man, man quickly held up his hand and said, you have no need to fear of me. I am not your enemy. And Link, being very happy to see Z Sheik, goes over and kisses Zelda. He walked up to the duo. Just who exactly are you? I forgot. This is Mike in writing. Everybody's a dumbass! Too bad he didn't know that Triforce occurs was resonating at this character. My name is Sheik. I know many things about you, and you're seeking a way to find and destroy Ganondorf. Over and I, please, can you help us? Asked Jupiter. There is not much I can, you can, you can I that can do to help. You see, this is why you need pronouns, people. I'll find him, said Sheik. I can, however, teach you special melodies that will help you when the time is right. He motioned for Link to come forward and have his Okara ready. Now listen very carefully, Link. She said, I'm not even going to pretend anymore. The flow of time is always cruel. It's different for every person, but none can change it. A thing that does not dissolve over time is a memory of younger days. She then reached behind and pulled out a small harp. You believe what I am saying? Play the minuet of forest. He said, You must remember this tune as well, Jupiter. It will help you guide away. No, it won't. All it does is just transport you back to the temple. Other than that, it's it's just there for decoration. It's just a fast travel system. Granted, that was probably the temple I used the most to do fast travel when I was playing the game because that would lead me back to the forest temple and that would give me the ability to get back to the forest maze where I could find that place where I could start grinding for fairies with all the bottles and then leave, go back, go go back, go back to where I needed to go, go transport somewhere else, and then proceed to continue my training. I had a good system. She then played several notes in a row. Then it was up to Link to repeat the sequence on Zarkarana, but he did. Two began playing the notes as they played the minuet music magically flowed through the air. Well play, Link. Ellipses. You've learned the minuet of forest, said she as she seized her harp. Master, Ellipses, that was beautiful, said Jupiter. Link turned to her and smiled, and then both turned back to face she as he, she disappeared, nowhere to be found. Link also had a funny feeling about this person, even though they'd never met before. It seemed to him that Sheik reminded him of someone from the past. Or something in particular, Elysees. Wait, 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 wait. 
So, did Link go through all the temples before or not? Because just five minutes ago, back in the main part of the story, you made it quite clear that the events of Arcarana of Time have happened. So, Link should know all this. At the beginning of this temple quest, you made the remark, Link had been through all this before. He should know these things! Well, then again, it has been a thousand years. Maybe he just forgot. Suddenly, a huge explosion was heard. A temple began quaking badly as rocks fell down from the ceilings and the walls were crawling in. Whoa, what's happening? Cried Gamer. You gotta find a way out here. This place is breaking up! Oh, but we just got together! Cried Link. Come on! Ran out into the main hall. Through the tunnel, back to the entrance, and ran outside. Ellipses. The others that arrived on the scenes, just in time to see the fourth temple, begin to collapse and vaporize. Look, it's Master and Jupiter! Cried Amy as he pointed up. Look out below! They called as they jumped in for dear life, landed safely as the last of the temple advanced completely. Linked and Jupiter slapped high fives. They prodded each other. Woohoo! We did it! And everyone else broke into a warm cheer. Meanwhile, in Ganon's castle, Gandorf had already selected someone to replace Phantom Gan and continued carrying out his demands. You, LLCs, forgive you. You are my new head minion, he commanded. Serpent like lava dragon's red eyes glowed from the dark towers. Phantom Gan was a fool, he chuckled. You could tend to depend on me, my king. <laughs> Everyone who got an attack on the force was now back to normal, but were ordered by their doctors and counselors to take the rest of the week off and rest. So, you doctors aren't going to ask about... No, we got paid rather handsomely to keep quiet. Oh, straight now felt so relief. Gee, Leah, after all that, I felt like it nice to be able to kick back and relax after a while, she said. Oh, I agree, said Leah. This will give you a chance to kick back, ellipses, and study. Serena fainted out of anguish. Oh, study. Well, she's, come on, Luna. A week off from school, it used to be spent doing real things. Oh, they should. Said Link, how did Serena here inform? You may have the week off from school, but not from work. How does that work? Because Serena was really thinking of passing out of days. You gotta be kidding me. She got out of the work at the cafe nonetheless. But Leah stepped outside with a breath of air. Hey. You all right? Link asked. Leah told Link that she was still amazed at all the things he had accomplished. I'm not sure how to be a good saint. I mean, I've never done it before. Link pulled on there. Hey, don't let it bother you, he said. I know you'll make a great saint of forest for me. It is you are a fine sailor, Senshi. A good friend. Leah smiled back. Thanks, Master. Hello, Seeds. I'm glad to be part of the team. Link was glad to have her, too. Power of teamwork. Leah and Link have attained the Forest Medallion and have successfully cleared the first of the five temples. With the other four still scattered through Tokyo, Link's quest had only begun. And I would pay attention to the moral of the story, but um, there's this really nice commercial to the side of my of the Media Meyer page talking about how to um, make groceries and make, make a fruit salad, and I'm just way too curious about that to even pay attention to there. Yes, I don't even know what type of song I'm even paying attention to. It's a rap. One that I've never heard of. So instead, go ahead and sing the Mighty Orbots theme. Because Mighty Orbots needs more love. 